Today, I'm going to be showing you the best gaming color settings for literally any game. Not only gaming, just your PC in general, but particularly gaming. It'll make games look beautiful. Now, this was trending in the Valorant community. And I say trending, not really very trending. It, it was kind of going around a bit. Some pros were switching to it. You know, they stream a lot as well. So they want their game to look nice and, you know, vibrant for the stream. And even just content creation in general. But like, there are real competitive advantages to this. Especially in like a game like Fortnite or maybe other games where you can like utilize colorblind modes to get those like advantages and kind of differentiate colors and you know in some cases those colorblind modes would saturate the game in certain ways which you know maybe be beneficial for like the colors in the map but it actually looks depressing to like kind of look at i did a whole color settings video um or sorry colorblind mode video recently for fortnite and the best colorblind mode you can use doesn't look that great yeah competitively it makes a difference but you do lose a life in the game so let's get straight into this i'm gonna first of all show you quickly some settings that were trending in the valorant community as i mentioned I've been rambling this video. I'm so sorry, guys. Here we go. These are some settings that this guy, shout out to him, tweaking guy. His whole thing is like giving people more FPS in Valorant. Although like Valorant is such an easy game to get more FPS in. These are the settings that he recommends. Now, this is literally the difference. Like, let's just make this clear. This is insane. Obviously, he's changed the outline of the character. So reds aren't going to become yellow. Just want to make that clear. But look at the game. The difference. It's like, this looks like candy, bro. This looks like something. I would eat this. I wouldn't eat this. This looks bland. It looks dry. It doesn't look good. This is like beige food. This right here, this is candy, bro. This is sugar. I was going to use an analogy, but I'm waffling. I'm waffling. Um, here's another one as well. Some slightly different adjustments here. We can see different. This one, again, just beautiful. The difference, you, could, you can definitely notice it here. And you know, when you see this language right here, it's going to be good. But to use these, what you want to do is go on your NVIDIA control panel settings, by the way. And you know, I do want to clarify again that these work in every game. So they look good in Valorant. They're going to look good in Fortnite. They're going to look good in Overwatch. They're going to look good in Call of Duty. Whatever, you know, it's just about making your game look better in general like i'm telling you it will change your experience but yeah if you go in your nvidia control panel i'm sure this works for amd you know your amd radiant settings or intel settings as well you want to go to adjust desktop color settings underneath display and here right here in this underneath apply color enhancements you can basically start you know changing things here so usually a lot of pros especially in fortnite used to just bump up their digital vibrance to like 70 especially those i mean a lot of them were using dutronope the colorblind mode i don't know why it no longer offers the same advantage as it used to but yeah some reason they like using that and then they pump up the vibrance it just seems very counterintuitive honestly but yeah i used to do that i used to just put it to like 70. my monitor natively is quite vibrant though and i have some vibrant settings in my obs that's why you can see my you know everything looks a little bit vibrant anyway so i can't really give like a good one-to-one -one example this is something you need to try for yourself but yeah it's really simple just copy the values here I i'm kind of just relaying information here so shout out to these guys all the credit go to the people that i've made these initial uh tweets here i think one of them wasn't even mentioned actually or credited oh, okay this guy right here he's the goat you know they've tested these things i've used them before in the, in the past using valorant and you know the proof is in the pudding we can see right here that they are incredible but yeah just copy the values whichever ones you want to try so this one brightness 70 contrast 80 gamma 120 and vibrance uh 90 percent this one brightness 60 percent contrast 55 percent gamma 1.05 and digital vibrance on 75 percent now personally i think this one's a little bit more drastic if that makes sense like as you can see contrast 80 like the default range is 50 so me personally i'm gonna use these settings and one more thing in this so that i want to make clear is that these are client side so i know i mentioned like streamers like like to use this to make their content look better that is because a lot of them are using a capture card so it's captured from their display or their graphics card which their display potentially is plugged into directly or like it, it just captures the display like what is being viewed on their screen through their dp cable is being captured directly or the hdmi which is you know going between the two if that makes sense whereas for us let's say i i'm recording obs now like myself right here if i change the brightness up right now you can't see this my monitor I'm using OBS, so you know I'm not using capture card. And my monitor personally looks way too bright. You know, it looks it literally is just a white light. And you don't see that. You don't see it changing. Maybe you see the reference actually. I don't know if that's adjusting. I can't even tell. And no, I don't think it is. No, 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 it's not. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, this is static too. This is all client side. So if you want to use this in content, you really can't. The only best way to do that is let's say you use OBS. What you can do is you can go into like properties here on one of your oh sorry, wrong wrong thing. You can go to filters and then you as you you can see I've bumped up some of mine. You can add these things in and kind of copy and just mirror them, if that makes sense. A lot of people fail to realize that in, let's say you're using this for clips, like you hit a Fortnite clip or you hit a Valorant clip, it isn't going to look like this for the, the recording, you know, for the people. That's just a little uh, like tip, a little hack for you guys. But yeah, there we go. I've just bumped up all these settings myself. I'm going to be using these ones right here. So it's up to you which ones you want to use. But yeah, that kind of covers everything. It is ultimately subjective. So you can kind of go in and change these how you wish. Obviously, if you're putting it too bright, 
or too vibrant, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna start affecting the way the game looks. You could actually lose some competitive advantage if you're messing with things a little bit too. Like if you're moving the get gamma and contrast too much, that will actually cause an issue. Like it will affect the, you know, the benefits of a certain colorblind mode, you know? So do be careful with this. Don't mess. I think brightness, like you can't, it's hard to go wrong there. Cause you know, I feel like no one's playing on like max, 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 you know, in game there are brightness settings natively in the game. So I will just focus on them, you know? I have mine on max and fauna already. So I've bumped this to 60. I don't want to go too high. That's why I do think these settings right here are quite good. And contrast, you know, don't mess with that too much. Gamma, don't mess with that too much. Like these are, I think these, this is like the sweet point. This may be a little crazy. Um, I don't think Valorant has a separate brightness setting in game. I could be wrong there. And colorblind modes don't apply to the actual colors of the game. It's only certain like, it's only like those outlines. Um, So like this is, this is what is considered colorblind mode, these outlines here. So that is why these ones are a little different. For Valorant, go ahead, copy these ones. But for Fortnite, I would probably go with these as I've already mentioned uh, a, a ton of times. But yeah, mainly subjective, focus on the digital vibrance, focus on the brightness. There you go.